from your mother. What? From this. <laughs> <laughs> all over the internet. Um, Internal use only. This is okay. supposed to say half an hour, but we're running a little bit late because there's lots to do with the design. So I just want to show you, as you're probably aware, in the UK and in Europe, everybody hangs around with paper. Mm -hmm. Don't use the story. Right? So I'll just show you an easy way to do it. Um, a little bit of breath. So I've established a straight line on the wall, which is what you need to establish. Because the corner of a room is never square, so you can't use that to start. So you start here. What I normally do is complete the wall and then do this bit last. But because you're here, I'm going to hang this one first. So, because we use a very high quality non-woven, and you all know not what your woven is because I told you when I were in your showroom. But for those of you who don't know, non-woven paste, uh, non-woven paper, which we use, is a relatively new concept, but also 10% nylon fibers. And they act like a web and holding together. So the paper doesn't move. Paper used to bubble and stretch and, and have problems at the seams and then mm -hmm. when it was drying it used to shrink. But the non-woven doesn't move, it's dimensionally stable. So that is why you can paste the wall. Because once it's on the wall, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to try and jump off. It's not going to bubble, it's not going to fall. So I'm just putting a nice little even coat of paste on the wall, that's all you need. I've already cut my paper to the right size. I mark the top because wallpaper, when you take it off the roll, it's not always the right way up. We've had people hang the stereo upside down, looking all sorts of things. So you take your wallpaper. Overlap a bit at the top, just line it up on your line. So what you're worried about is following the lines. So we can just chase it down the wall. Put that paste, which it moves nicely. How much else there? Don't worry about that side, that will go for so. Just let it come down. So you do as you go, go right? Huh? You do as you go. Yeah, yeah, if you glue so it, it and bolt, especially so I'm up the top as well, so I'm 
How long do you have to hang it before the glue begins to dry? On a day like today, probably 10 minutes. Um, air glue is quite, it's a ready mix, which you have to have really. You shouldn't really use glue for a packing, because it's nice and nice to water. Take a little bit of the curve out, makes it easy when you go. Yeah, you have you have a fair bit of work inside. But normally when you're when you're installing, you don't have central heating on uh, or any sort of interior heating. This if you have like radiator type heating, that could create a hot spot on the wall. So in that area the paste will dry quicker and the paper will dry quicker. Okay, so you just want a fairly even coat on there, you don't need a lot because it's in the old days the paste was crucial because the paper was trying to shrink back to what it used to be. It was trying to break the bond of the paste. And these days, with high quality film over anyway, it's really straightforward. Do you print anything strong and warm paper? Um, the India paper, the still on paper, and the original hummingbirds. So you can see what I've got to Everything else on paper. Because it's a better product for your customer, a better product for the installer, you've got to have this in the wrong place. So again, you're working with a small area. You have a small area to work. Just to give a So do you overlap them at all? Or you just... No, you just put it close and just push it in. And it won't break it. No, this doesn't move. This doesn't move at all. That's why it's just a really good product for your customers. If you're not happy with any area, you can just clean it off and do it again. Um, like the posting can really. So again, that's not too bad for me, but just turn it off the bottom. Without papers, you shouldn't be getting any paste on the surface because you should be good enough not to. But if you do, just wash it down. Oh. Just wash it all down. Use a clean sponge, don't spread paste all over it. Use clean water. Um, yeah, just take the excess off if you want. Give it a nice smooth finish. Mm -hmm. On any of the qualities? Mm -hmm. um, Maybe not the quality. Yeah, all of our inks, yeah. all of our inks, all the called washable inks. So they've been designed so they don't need a top coat or a glaze or anything like that. So there you go.